Today we're going to discuss Windows and SQL Server authentications connection strings. So first, um, in this video, especially for desktop applications um, using .exe.config file, this is the where indicate this one is external connection strings. And another one is uh, internal connection strings. Internal connection strings uh, is uh, you can uh, hard coding these ones is a hard coding. Just um, uh, you mentions all uh, server information inside your code. But uh, it's not good uh, because uh, if you want to change your IP address or data server, data source, data source, or your DB name, or if you change your password, you may not change. Uh, you cannot connect uh, with um, uh, using your applications with data based uh, server. So that's why it's best practice is uh, must use external connection strings using app.config files so when you change your app.config file it automatically change to your uh, output file which is still located in bin and slash debug folder so here is a bin slash debug folder this one's so this one's external so let's uh, first go how to set up internal connection strings uh, debugging time especially you have to change app.config file in the debugging times so now this one for sql server authentications just uh, local source local uh, local is you can also put your only dot Sometimes it may not support, but this is, let's go is supporting or not. It's not working. So if you put local, must is work. It's not working also. Yeah, it's working because um, I miss my I forget my password. My password is uh, mn mn. Here you go. It's working. So dot is not uh, work. You also uh, put your. You can also put your computer name. It's also work. This is your computer names. So it's better local is good. Or you can also put your uh, local host IP address is 0, 0 0.0.1. It's also work. Let's try again. Yes, this also work. Um, and must remember for SQL Server authentications, this one's very important is for SQL Server authentications. So just now, SQL Server authentication is finished uh, for debugging time. Now let's go for Windows authentications, this one's good for Windows authentications. You copy paste or just you man, you want to change only uh, the connection strings code. So now just change this one. We don't need to put any user ID. Uh, this is a skill server authentication, so we must put uh, user ID and password. And uh, this one's uh, system dot uh, the data client. And uh, here is a integrated security service, integrated security equal to true. So here is the main difference is the dot SQL, dot SQL express, which is very important. Uh, so let's try again, is working or no. But as, mm, for my PC is not working because my uh, PC is uh, authenticated uh, genuine software. And the SQL server, this is genuine. Let's try here first uh, 
uh, on the gations. Yes, it's connecting. So um, let's try another data source. Is a dot is also working. Let's try another one. Is uh, here. SQL Express. File. I need try to change your uh, data source better to practice here uh, because lots of people they don't they they can find the SQL Server uh, the data source uh, but uh, it's not working. But if your if your uh, SQL Server is uh, free versions you must use you must use dot slash backslash dot backslash skill express but my pc is my skill server is a genuine software license of this is is not work uh, and this is not express version a real version there so it's not working here so uh, better uh, to put here uh, it's not working here see yeah because I put a uh, skill express so must work if I put on uh, uh, local local here yes is working is connected um, so this is the built-in time uh, SQL server authentications and Windows server authentication issue. So here are lots of mechanism. Here also from application side, you can change, you can connect. Uh, um, here, when you click here, automatically come your uh, um, the resource name so is done. So here, this is my PC number. You see, this is my PC number, PC, PC name, computer name. This is working. So mm, if I change my password, it will not, not work. And uh, another one is if you put a uh, school express, it will not work. Um, for Windows authentications, but most of the uh, uh people uh, they just download from the free version so that's why their that resource name is school express uh, so try here uh, remember in this software i use is built in so it's not affecting here this one this uh, apps.config file is not affecting here and um, Let's try this one. Fantastic is working. If you put local, also is is also working. So try all uh, all, all of those uh, IP address backslash one two three. So uh, that's it um, for um, uh, building building time. So uh, from building. So now let's go how to uh, set your uh, SQL and Windows authentications connection strings from uh, external connection strings. So just to open this file is exactly the same uh, which I before show. It is exactly the same. Just this one's now SQL server authentications this one dot school client this is school server authentications um, so let's try to um, it's working and here also school server authentications working now try to change uh, windows to windows authentications it's just um, do it again that's it so remember this is good for you but it's not good for me because it's my uh, skill server is a genuine that's why but most of the free versions that a source name is a skill server 
dot sql express so try to open it again wrong password wrong password it's not okay now correct password fantastic is connected and here is working and also same is local also working and um, in the application side another one you can find your data source name just this to here uh, take a new query and write this code here just the server name and press this is your data source name which is actually your computer name this one's and this one's the same so you should use this one also but if you use skill express maybe it will not uh, work so express version is a little bit limited uh, that's why better to use uh, try to use this one school express dot slash school express so that's it actually remember uh, is very important here in windows authentication is the uh, integrated security equal to throw and uh, data search is most important obviously database name but it not hassle because everybody knows what is the database name so data source and this one's very important for both sides this one for integrated security equal to true is for windows authentications and um, sql server authentications for sql server authentication is a uh, provided name here integrated service equal to true here uh, provide a name equal to system dot data dot is called client. So thanks for watching. I hope I cover everything. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye